Ang bawat estudyante ng UP Baguio ay may tatak ng balanseng edukasyon. Kilala tayong mahusay sa debate at talakayan. Ngunit sanay din sa pagtahimik at pakikinig. Kilala tayong tumututok sa mga kwento ng trahedya. Ngunit mapagmasid din sa luwalhati ng mga pamayanan. Kilala tayong kritikal at dumalaban. Habang sanay din tayo sa pakikisama at pagtanggal. Sa pagsasaliksik, kinikilatis natin ang mga payak at munti. At kinikilatis din ang matatayog at dambuhala. Binibigyan natin ng panahon ang pagsiseryoso. Upang mabigyan din natin ng panahon ang pagsasaya. Binibigyan natin ng panahon ang ensayo dahil alam natin ang sining ay hindi minamadali. At kahit sa mga pagkakataong walang oras o walang panahon, ayos lang yon, tuloy-tuloy lang. Dahil pihado, pagkatapos ng lusa, may kalayaang umalagwa. Kilala tayong umiibig at nagtitiwala sa sariling atin. At hinuhubog din tayong magkaroon ng tiwala sa sarili. Sa loob at labas ng pamantasan, balanse at makabayang edukasyon. Mula sa ili para sa ili. Yan ang tatak UP Baguio.
Ang ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay Lupang inirang Ngayon ka nang makiting Sa manulupit Di ka pa sisiin Sa lagat at bundok Sa simoy at sa langit Pang bangha May dinag ang tulatawit Sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng watawat Mo'y tagumpay na ng tingin Ang bituin na tarang Ang kailan Pag may di magdiniling Lupa ng araw na Officials of the University of the Philippines, UT Bagger Faculty, Parents, Fellow Graduates, Friends, Ladies and Gentlemen, Isang matagumpay na araw sa ating lahat. I am Paul Jeremiah Narvan, ES Computer Science. Alam na ako po natin na kaming mga graduates sa yun ay mga nagsi-extend. Dahil sa masyadong pag-e-edge sa university, sa pag-shift, sa core subject na kinulang, sa panangdali ang paghinto sa pag-aaral, sa mga thesis, na sa aming komsoy ay special problem. Yet, there is nothing shameful in extending. Stay for another one, or two, or three years. What's an opportunity for us to know more, to experience more, to serve and guide more, to be accord more in what we believe in, and ultimately, to grow more? Will is necessary for us to be able to persevere and press on. Now, why serve? We serve to show our thanksgiving. Our thanksgiving to the university and the people that comprise it. In serving, we would usually think of grand and complex acts. However, since we are still in bachelor studies, it does not have to be some big scientific breakthrough. Our study could be just uh, localizing an existing study or applying this uh, mathematical model to our society and see if it works. Extending this thought, our service does not necessarily have to be immediately foreign and national or even global in scope. Honestly, these are good vision for long term. But for the meantime, okay lang na magsimula muna sa mali. For us Kansai people, we don't need to expect that we can create a platform that can overtake uh, Facebook in connecting people or uh, Google in in answering questions. We dream of it, but for now we could uh, develop a system that automatically computes the employees' sleep credits. It could be anything, just to improve the state of others. It could be uh, holding the spotlight for others, although that is what we do momentarily. We hold on to that will, to that vision, as we press on. We is what will help us press on. W is for win, and E is for excellence. Okay, what naman excellence? Dahil mahirap magpatuloy kung alam natin na hindi natin magagawa. Sa apat na taon at mahigit, uh, bumuha tayo ng kanya-kanyang kahulugan ng excellence. For me, what makes us excellent is not the sequence of successes that we have achieved. As in the exam, that paper, the course, teaching a thesis, and, and finally reaching our graduation. Of course, that's the case when not a single one of us here is excellent. In programming, there would be a time where we would encounter just uh, one error. After leaving our all to solve that error, are we done? No, we'd have 10 more errors. What I'm trying to say here is that Every time we overcome our obstacles, uh, we would encounter new and harder ones to overcome. What I came to understand is that behind every victory is first a succession of defeats. Excellence is pressing on regardless of the sequence of setbacks and defeats. Rising again and again, persevering until the ground breaks is excellence. And this is our excellence, whatever 
But every day you will be seeing what us and how every day you drag us down. Uh, we would remember the hindi ko to kaya, hindi ako sapat, hindi ako pahari ito, that we experienced here. The fact that we are here means that we have persevered through the hardships and have grown to overcome them. For every obstacle we will encounter, remember our old success stories at this point. Have on to them, for that is our assurance, that we can persevere to grow once again and to overcome once again. For whenever we fall, we, Watashi Tachi, Tachi Agale, rise up. Let's press on. Congratulations to all of us. Buhay ang mga scholar ng Bible. Binabati ko kayo, mga scholar ng bayan, sa inyong pagtatapos mula sa UP nating mahal. Kayo ay nabibilang sa katangi-tanging batch 2020. Natatangi sapagkat kayo ay nagsipagtapos sa panahon ng isang pandemya. Na kahit pa napaikli ng pandemyang ito, ang inyong paglagi at pag-aaral sa loob ng ating pamantasan ay buong husay at tapang naman ninyong hinarap ang lahat ng hamon ng pagkakataon at matagumpay kayong nakaraos sa mga kursong inyong ngayong tinapos. Totoo nga, nakakaiba ang mga seremonya ng pagtatapos sa ating bansa ngayon. Subalit, hindi man ninyo naranasan ang mga kaabang-abang na tradisyon tulad ng pagsusuot ng ating sablay, paggawad ng mga titulo at karangalan, o paglahok sa mga lighting rally kaya, kayo naman ay mga tunay pa mga graduate at ngayon ay alumni na ng UP. Taos-puso pa rin nating ipinagdiriwang ang okasyong ito gaya ng mga nagdaang araw ng pagtatapos at pinasasalamatan natin ang lahat ng ating mga nakasama sa makabuluhang paglalakbay na ito. Sa mga nakalipas na buwan, Natutunan natin kung paano harapin ang isang kakaibang sitwasyon sa kasaysayan ng ating daigdig at lipunan, ang pagharap sa sakit na COVID-19. Bagamat hindi pa lubos na natatapos ang mga panganib na sanhi ng nasabing sakit, ating tandaan na hindi biro ang paghubog, pagsasanay at paghandang ibinahagi sa inyo ng UP upang mapagtagumpayan ninyong sama-sama ang anumang hamong inyong kakaharapin. Ating tandaan na ang panahon ng krisis ay hindi lamang isang masamang panaginip. Ito rin ay isang mabuting pagkakataon upang tayo ay lalong magpunyagi, magpakahusay at makapaglingkod sa bayan. Isa buhay natin ang diwa ng UP. Ang pagkakaisa, ang paglilingkod ng buong husay at dangal at patunayan natin na walang hangganan ang pag-aambag ng ating universidad at ng kanyang mga alumni sa paghahanap at paglalapat ng mga epektibong alternatibo at solusyon sa anumang sudiranin. Sa tulong ng inyong mga propesor, kamag-aral, kasama sa kolehiyo at mga organisasyong kinabibilangan, na ibigay ng UP ang lahat ng aralin at kasanayan sa loob ng higit na maikling panahon at sa pamamagitan ng kakaibang pamamaraan ng pagtuturo. Dapat nating mapagtanto na ang tunay at higit na makabuluhang larangan ng pagkatuto ay nasa labas ng ating pamantasan. Kayo ang Batch 2020, ang unang henerasyon ng mga nagsipagtapos na scholar ng bayan sa panahon ng pandemyang COVID-19. Inaasahan kong kayo ay mangunguna sa pagbabangon sa ating bayan mula sa lusak ng trahedyang ito. Gamitin sana ninyo ng wasto ang karunungang tatak UP. Buong giting at husay nawa ninyong gampanan ang pagiging mabuting Pilipino na may utak at puso para sa kapwa at sa bayan. 
Muli, binabati ko kayo sa makasaysayan at makabuluhang okasyong ito. Gabayan nawa kayo ng puong may kapal. sa salamatan ang aking mahal na magulang isa pa ang mga katagal sa lahat ng mga
Chancellor Robilius, buong karangalan kong ihinaharap sa inyo ang mga magsisipagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Baguio, mula sa Kolehiyo ng Sining at Komunikasyon para sa Media 2019 at sa taong akademiko 2019-2020. Certificate in Fine Arts, Visual Arts, Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Bachelor of Arts in Language and Literature, Master of Arts in Language and Literature. Chancellor Rovilios, buong karangalan kong inihaharap sa inyo ang mga magsisipagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Baguio, mula sa Kolehiyo ng Agham para sa mid-year 2019 at sa taong akademikong 2019-2020. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Bachelor of Science in Physics. Master of Science in Conservation and Restoration Ecology. Master of Science in Mathematics. Chancellor Rovilios, buong karangalan kong inihaharap sa inyo ang mga magsisipagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Baguio, mula sa Kolehiyo ng Agham Panlipunan para sa mid-year 2019 at sa taong akademikong 2019-2020. Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences. Bachelor of Science in Management Economics. Master of Arts in Social and Development Studies. Master of Management. Ang ulong konsepsyon, buong karangalan kong inihaharap sa inyo ang mga magsisipagtapos mula sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, Baguio para sa kanilang iba't ibang degree at titulo para sa mid-year 2019 at sa taong akademikong 2019-2020. Ang kanilang pagtatapos ay inirekomenda na kani-kanilang mga akademikong unit at ng University Council ng UP Baguio at inopurbahan ng lupon ng mga rehente. Sa bisa ng kapangyarihang ipinagkaloob sa akin ng umiiral na batas at ng lupon ng mga rehente ng universidad, Iginagawad ko sa inyo ang mga degree at titulong inirekomenda para sa inyo. Kalaki pang lahat ng karapatan, karangalan at pribilehyo, pati na ang mga responsibilidad na kaakibat nito. Severino Pamela Angelica Tamayo Roldan Kenneth Brian Torres Crespo Carmela Isabel Calma Castro Romary Fang Francisco Cara Isabel Udtuhan Gonzalo Ruth Postos Cum Laude Jonatas Jana Lay Bautista Pinol Reza Marie Mamaril Alden Alexa Daniel Reyes Cum Laude Aquino Maria Clay Aphrodite De Cepeda Bailon Arsenio Jr. Pilis Henesa Chelsea Marie Salamanes Lazaro 
Francesca Maria Isabel Verdadero, Riliorta Miguel Ulrich Rabara, Cum Laude. Soria, Michael Patrick, Untalasco. Tabotabo III, Enrico Duazon. Agapito, Gemerald Zabat. Aquino, Baron Paolo Calixtro. Balita, Val Aison. Castillo, Angel Dominador Ursua, Favis Charlene Salinda, Isidro Jason Dovan Relator, Patricio Christian Valdez, Serapion J.M. Bumanlag. Ginay, Ned Lloyd Yang Ed. Agunia, Divina Femina Candelaria. Luxon, Luel Dolatre. Tolibas, Bettina Ruth Martinez. Ardidon, John Vincent Tumaliwan. Marco, Sean David Bautista Morgia Christine Norin Morales Leymara Valdueza Fitaka Abanyo Shena Gloria Alegre Julia Victoria Ponce Bashini Franz Alexis Manglikmot Bautista Maria Victoria Valencia Bonilla Roston John Dauas Kamat Liza May Ferrer Castro Sofia Janzel Mauricio Demesa Tamara Yentil Coliantes Filipino Christian Lloyd Pagio Morden Rovian Virgimel Gragasin Oreo Ray Joseph Rosario Pachoco Maria Mariven Pastor Pangag Lorisel Vilog Pinas Riven Kianan Miklay Quinto Aliana David Simon Cristel Sigmar Manuel Carbonell Ariza May Diaz Circa Elica Martin De La Peña Hannah Shaila Agustin De La Rosa Stephanie Lobo Fernando Chariz Agapito Petesio Emeline Jaira Pilawen Fumbuena Rivi Jen Rivera Gaho Carla Jean Escalante Lopez John Christian De Leon Luzano Angela Milagros Ocampo Maniti Andrea Jo Gotido Munoz Abel Christopher Torres Balaga Hazelin Calasicas 
na Raval Paul Jeremiah Delfinado Cum Laude. Dogup Tyrell Justin Alangsab. Pahardo John Kenneth De Guzman. Gueco Rihanna Elizabeth Nasaire. Aledo Allen Brent Rosal. Aquino John Israel Bregania. Orara Paraluman Mariel. Amarles Cleo Jude Sailanon. Cordero Rodolfo Scotti Aquino. De Guzman Esther Joyce Padilla. Esquivel Naomi Geneva Galiendo. Laureta William Cesar Abiva. Peña Flor Diane Salamodin. Perez III Honorato Guerrero. Season Kathleen Joy Taaka. Tejada J. Mart Saludes. Tibay Andrea Miliare. De La Cruz John Mark Amadeo. Domingo Aliana Kimberly Flor Dacayo. Lim Maynard Alberto Go. Margalio John Darcy Pancho. Pineda Mary Margaret Cebu. Relativo Chelsea Jean Tambanillo. Sabandal Lindsay Evangelio. Tunogbanwa Angelica Mia Daguman. Valenzuela Arlene Pagurayan. Yarsa Drazen Lopez. Yage Cristel Sadama Taguchi Hana Villasilio Ray Benedict Acuna Cerudo Samuel Harrison Pangan Fronda Joseph Victor Tadena Cum Laude Marquez Frederich Carl Cortez. Mayol Adora Salvacion Roldan. Orate Jr. Alonso de Venecia. Panganiban Norwen Cayago. Ranit Christian Alejandro Santarin. Talavera Nadine Escaler Madonna Castillo da Kigan Ronald Lachica Aquino Hazel May Reyes Diza Ronica Kerol Masangkay Renz Jimuel Silva Mina Junas Paul Taberna Viernes Ron Alan Valmonte Baran Karen Abigail Escarcha Bocasas Olive Ribaya Kawiding DG Garcia Elopre 
William Jr. Sobredo Gayo Mark John Terado Mangsat Rick Joseph Raimundo Morillo Gina May Rabanera Natividad Aprimel Chris Jacildo Pahimola Lumibaw Geraldine Cruz Mutia Maika Helena Villarta Abiera Carlos Luis Sena Aligo Winston Taine Bautista Francis Frederick Macaraeg Clemente Mary Antoinette Hervasio Diaz Noel Mozart Babaran Dominguez Nicole Cruz Estioco Aliza Joy Castillo Fernando Jovita Ann Nicole Musni La Torre Aliza Theriz Maquilan Mayor Richelle May de la Cruz Rulia Thalia Ingrid Kalulut Balatayo Catherine Cruz Baliwag Vicky Luella Donato Daep Aceya Daniel Soriano Damit Alceya Flocae Kuteng De Guzman Alexandria Dominique Kunanan Gumapos Alaysa Dulay Pascual J. Sidney Manipula Shafa Adrian Isabel Potenciano Visperas Von Xavier Serrano Aparal Naomi Angel Opalia Reyes Gianni Ann Austria Jerónimo Leo Angelo de Guzmán Maria Teresa Zabat Lazaro Jansen Taruk Nakar Carmen Cheryl Dine Daitek Yangot Annabel Nalibsan Apse Michael Guray Soriano Sherwin Batalia Biasura Serafine Olivier Quintos Laschetti III Mayari lamang na tumayo ang mga magtatapos at itaas ang kanang kamay. Taos puso akong nanunumpa na isa sa katuparan ko ng buong husay katapatan at walang pag-iimbot ang mga tungkuling 
nakaatang sa akin bilang kasapi ng samahan ng mga nagsipagtapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ipagtatanggol ko at ipaglalaban ang kapakanan ng Universidad na aking pinagtapusan, ang Universidad ng Pilipinas at ipinapangako ko magiging matapat na nagtapos sa universidad na ito sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Kaya tulungan nawa ako ng Diyos. Pinakamahalaga sa mga itinatanging tradisyon ng ating universidad ang ritual ng pagtatanglaw, ang pagpasa ng ating karunungan na sinasagisag ng ilaw. Panandali lamang ngunit lipos ng kahulugan ang ritual na ito. Binibigyang buhay at pinatitingkad ng mga kandilang inilawan mula sa inang tanglaw sa entablado ang iba't ibang larawang nagkahugis sa pagdaraan ng mahabang panahon. Mga larawan ng pagbupunyagi, ng pagbibigay at pagtanggap, ng paglikha at pagbubuo, ng pag-alam at pangunawa. Mga larawan ng sigasig sa paghahanap ng karunungan. Sa loob ng ilang sandali, Magwawakas ang ritual ng pagtatanglaw. Pagkatapos nito, tapos na ang sandali ng pananagisag. At muli na naming naidaos ang seremonya ng pagpasa ng ilaw ng karunungan. Ngunit ang pag-aaral at pagbubuo ng mga kaalaman na nagsimula sa nakalipas na panahon ay magpapatuloy sa mga darating pang araw. Ito'y isang walang tigil na daloy ng pagtuto, isang walang hanggang proseso ng pagtuklas ng karunungan. Hello, Batchmates! My name is Miguel Rabara Rilliarta, but my friends know me as Miggy. We're finally here, our Sablay 2020. I know it's not the end we had in mind when we finished our stay in UP, but of course, for everyone's well-being, this is the best we can get. Graduating from UP is always worth something regardless of where we are right now. I hope everyone is doing well and is healthy as we cap off our difficult but worthwhile stay in UP Baguio. As UP graduates, we now bear the light. This light symbolizes the experiences and everything we had while studying. Such experiences made us who we are as we move beyond the space of the university. This sounds inspirational, but to be completely honest with you, it's very difficult to be inspirational these days. This pandemic has taken a toll on all of us. It's painful to speak of a light that guides all of us to a brighter future when in reality, the future has never been more dim and uncertain for all of us. It's also hard for me to talk about success, our success, transitioning into the workforce while many Filipinos are losing their jobs because companies can't afford to keep them anymore. The worst part, it's even harder for me to talk about freedom in all its shapes and forms because of recent events that legally restrain me from doing so. I know we're all supposed to be hopeful, but just taking a look around, it's really challenging to say the least. But I'm not here to deliver a speech to make you feel miserable. Instead, I'm here to tell you that we're ready to face what's to come. After all, we are batch 2020, 
the all-star batch, as many of us like to call it. But let's be honest. I think we all know what it stands for. We're the batch that broke the mold. We are, how do they call it, the batch of delinquents or misfits. And believe me, I mean that as a compliment. We are the batch who, considering most of our circumstances, took the unorthodox path in and or out of UP. Some of us are transferees who initially didn't pass the upkat, but right now are donning our very own sablay. Perhaps we are the hopeful freshies who dreamed of finishing our degree program on time, but took a little longer than expected because of that one subject that was scheduled too early in the morning, or perhaps that one term paper that was given a month before, but of course we chose to do it a month after. Regardless of how we finished, strong or barely finishing at all, we completed our academic responsibilities in UB. We really did it. It's fitting to mention that people grow differently. Some can finish their degree within the recommended time and recommended amount of units per semester, while others simply can't do that. Does that mean they're doing something wrong? Not necessarily. But does that mean they're lesser in some aspect? Definitely not. Breaking the mold doesn't necessarily mean failure or inadequacy. I'd like to believe that breaking the mold serves as a symbol of growth and change. If putting your mental health above the pressures of schoolwork makes you a more holistic and happier person, then break the mold. If attending your organization meetings with your org mates makes you feel safe and gives you purpose, then by all means, go to your GAs and break the mold. If protesting on the streets brings the problems of our people to the fore, even if some say we're just causing traffic, then by all means, now more than ever, should we break the mold. It's all about finding the balance of what we ought to do for others and what we ought to do for ourselves. Breaking the mold doesn't have to mean doing something wrong. I believe that breaking the mold emphasizes the complexity of each of us. The more we try to understand these complexities, the better we are at addressing the obstacles that each of us face. Now, it's no secret that we are ushering in a world of a broken mold. Protective masks cover faces, staying home makes us heroes, and of course, any plan set out for 2020 has either been pushed back indefinitely or canceled completely. This broken mold of our world is truly frightening. It really is the sign of the times. But we are the people of the broken mold. We know what uncertainty feels like and we know how much it can get in the way of our day to day. If we are to maneuver the coming uncertainties, we need to draw from the experiences which led us to this point. We need to be strong and proactive to be ready for any challenge to come. Most importantly, we need to stay hopeful and grounded through it all. Now more than ever, the world needs people of the broken mold. Those who walked off the beaten path and found another way. Like I said, it's hard to be inspirational in times of crisis that affect even our most basic securities. But that doesn't mean we stop trying to make things better. If there's anything that our UP education has taught us, it is that we always prepare for the worst. And right now, it seems the worst is yet to come. Yet here we are prepared and equipped to face what's to come. Perhaps this is the light we have to carry to get through this crisis. Padayon Batch 2020, let's traverse this uncertainty with our heads held high and our feet planted. Thank you very much. You.